When it comes to connecting you to the biggest names in power sports, sport, we've got you covered. Just a few weeks ago, we had a chance to talk with American MotoGP star Nicky Hayden. Now, at the time, he was still under contract with Ducati, so he, he couldn't talk about that whole Ducati versus Honda thing. But we still had a great chat with the Kentucky Kid. Now, welcome to the show, 2006 MotoGP world champ, Nicky Hayden. Nicky, what's going on, man? How are you? Uh, not too bad. How about yourself, Greg? Can't complain. Show's rolling right along. All good things. New things happening in my life, but a lot of new stuff in your life, right? Yeah, for sure. Just uh, had an operation last week, got a new bike, and uh, exciting time for me. So uh, just regrouping here, trying to get healthy, and looking forward to, uh, to the, next, uh, the next move. Uh, let's talk about the surgery really quickly. What, what happened? What was done? I had an operation on my right wrist. I had a screw in my scaphoid, which had came loose during the season and uh, was backing out. So uh, he had to take that screw out. And that was a little bit painful because it had backed out and it was in, into another bone. So it was really t or quite hard for him to get out and had took a, a bit of work. And it was pretty sore for a couple of days, but feeling a lot better now. And he... Uh, cleaned it up in there and now just recovering and uh, go back for checkup Monday and then we'll understand more about when uh, you know when I can start therapy and when I can really uh, you know the, the plan anyway all right and so uh, big transitional off season for you right five years with Ducati and now you're transitioning to the Aspar team something new for you um, Tell us a little bit about the motivation in, in this particular offseason. I know you've had the surgery and you're raring to, to get back into it, you know, from a physical standpoint, but um, do things feel any differently for you than they have the last couple of years? Well, of course, an, a new challenge is always exciting. Uh, for me, uh, definitely looking forward to getting on a different bike and seeing, uh, seeing the feel and the feedback and stuff. So, uh, I couldn't say a whole lot. I mean, every year's the same. Of course, you want to try to work on your weaknesses and try to understand where you can improve. And uh, this year it is a bit different because a lot of changes are going on. So need to, you know, get to know a new team, a new personnel, and uh, not just new a new bike. So uh, there's a lot of adjustments that go into it. But um, looking forward to it. Now you got to ride the new bike at Valencia, and one of the questions I had for you regarding that was that. MotoGP now has this kind of standard electronics, this Magneti Morelli system, and you got to ride on that on, on your new motorcycle. What is that electronic system like? Well, it's new, but it's coming. It's not, you know, not everybody is using it yet. It's just uh, next year the open bikes will be using it. The factory bikes will still be using their standard stuff. So it's... Uh, very new, so it's uh, you know it's going back in time. There's not as many as many channels, as many options, as many perimeters as some of the current stuff. So uh, in the long run, it could make it better once everybody starts using it. Could you know mean less electronics for everyone? So uh, in the meantime, though, you know I, I need to use it more to really understand its potential because uh, for this test, it was very new, especially for Honda. Honda's never worked with that that software or that hardware before, so a lot for them to uh, to understand. And um, you know, I would say in the this test was more of a shakedown for us really than real testing. I was sharing a bike, and uh, you know, when we started, you know, the track we didn't have it broke down in sections and corners, so uh, all the electronics was basically like very old school. You know, very just one one track, one set of electronics that work in all gears, all corners, so um, had to start making that and breaking that down, but it's, uh, no, it's not, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, are you the type of rider when you debrief, do you get with the engineers, do you want to know the intricacies of what's going on with the electronics, or are you more of a broad stroke kind of rider? Well, I'm not really sure. I don't know uh, a whole lot what other guys do. I would say just somewhere in, in the middle. I mean, I don't really care the stuff I don't need to know. I mean, you know, your brain's only so big, you, you know, only focus on what you can control or what can help you. So I don't really need to know the ins and outs, but definitely I try to uh, give them as much feedback as possible. I mean, the more those people are there to help you. So, uh, you know, if they don't know the problems, they can't help you. So, 
you know, I try to give them in uh, detail and not necessarily, you know, what I feel, whether it's right or wrong. Hopefully, what you tell them matches what the data says, and then it's a, it's a pretty easy fix. So. 